I can write it as root x the whole square. In these two terms, I'll take root x common. Use sine 2 theta. In multiple angles of trigonometry, you have sine 2 theta. e power 2x minus 1 dx. See here, this is little critical problem. See here, converting cot to cos by sine is the hint of problem. Here, derivative log of sine x is cot x. That is numerate. So after putting it as t, differentiating plays important role. Welcome to the session, dear students. In today's class, we'll discuss integrals, that is indefinite integrals, some more problems of the x size. So now we'll go ahead with the x size 5 markers. Integral of 1 by root x plus x dx. Here, can I write it as integral of 1 by root x plus x is the only. In spite of x, can I write root x the whole square dx? Now further, I can take root x common. In See, in spite of x, you know a in maths can be written as root a the whole square. Similarly, in spite of x I have, I can write it as root x the whole square. In these two terms, I will take root x common. If I take root x common, I will be left out with, this will become 1 plus root x dx. Now do the substitution. I taught you, if you take part of function as t, get the remaining part. So now further I can write the same problem as integration of 1 by, first I will write 1 plus root x, then I will write into 1 by root x dx. So now we will do substitution. So whatever is present in the bracket take it as t, put t is equal to 1 plus root x. So all of you know differentiation, differentiate both sides with respect to x differentiate both sides with respect to x. If you do that, you will get d by dx of t is equal to d by dx of 1 plus d by dx of root x. Derivative 1 is 0. Derivative root x is 1 by 2 root x. This is dt by dx. And we need just 1 by root x dx. So dt becomes 1 by root x by dx transfer that side, it will become into dx. By 2 transfer this side, it will become 2 dt. So now in spite of 1 by root x, so you can do this substitution. In spite of 1 plus root x put t, in spite of 1 by root x dx. So remaining part is what? 1 by root x dx. We will do the substitution. So now, so the given problem, integral of 1 by 1 plus root x into 1 by root x dx, I can write it as integral of 1 by t 2 dt, 2 is constant, take it out, integration of 1 by t dt, so integration of, that is 2 into integration of 1 by t is log t plus c, that is 2 times log t, what is t? t is 1 plus root x plus c, all of you know, integration of 1 by t is what? log t. Now we will go to the next question. Integration of sin 2x divided by 1 plus cos square x dx. So given problem I can write it as integration of sin 2x divided by 1 plus cos square x dx. See all of you know differentiation of cos is what? Minus sin. But numerator is sin 2 use sin 2 theta. In multiple angles of trigonometry, you have sin 2 theta. Sin 2 theta can be written as 2 sin theta cos theta. Sin 2x can be written as 2 sin x cos x. I am not integrated. I am using the multiple angle formula divided by 1 plus cos square x. So first you should know multiple angle formula. What is the multiple angle formula? In trigonometry chapter, you have multiple angles. In multiple angles, you have formula for sin 2 theta. Sin 2 theta in maths is 2 sin theta into cos theta. So remember sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta into cos theta. So in spite of sin 2 theta, I am writing 2 sin theta cos theta. In spite of sin 2x, I am writing 2 sin x cos x. Now you can observe, if I take T as T, T as cos x, I will get the remaining part called sin x. So given problem, in the given problem, I will take, put T is equals to cos x and differentiate dt by dx. What is derivative of cos x? All of you know derivative of cos x is minus sin x. And you need numerator. Numerator is sin x into dx. So now dt is equal to sin x 
divided by dx goes that side become into dx but minus is there multiply minus on both sides so minus dt is sin x into dx so now you got the value so you got sin x dx value you got t value now we'll go to the problem that is the given problem is integration of 2 first i'll write cos x then i'll write sin x dx then divided by 1 plus cos square x so now substitute if when i substitute 2 will be as it is cos x we took it as what what is cos x t in the place of cos x i'll put t what is sin x into dx sin x into dx is minus dt divided by 1 plus t square so now minus you can take it out it will become integration of 2t divided by 1 plus t square so if you refer the past classes it is in the form of f dash x by f of x denominator and numerator derivative of denominator is numerator so the problem is in the form integration of f dash x by f of x what is integration of f dash x by f of x integration of f dash x by f of x is log of denominator log f of x here definitely derivative of 1 plus t square is 2t derivative of 1 is 0 t square is 2t so it will become answer is minus log of denominator log of what is denominator log of 1 plus t square that is plus c and what is t square minus log of 1 plus t square what is t square what is t cos x 1 plus cos square x plus c this is the final answer next we have that is integration of e power 2x plus 1 divided by e power 2x minus 1 dx see here this is little critical problem if i take this as t i will not get whole numerator now the denominator not t substitute mother the numerator barala so what we do is so can i write this as e power x in between i have plus e power minus x divided by i'll write this as e power x minus e power minus x because if you take lcm of this it will be the same you can check it so e power x plus e power minus x divided by e power x minus e power minus x so this will become e power x plus 1 by e power x this will become e power x minus 1 by e power x so numerator if you take lcm it will become e power x the whole square plus 1 divided by e power x denominator if you take lcm it will become e power x the whole square minus 1 divided by e power x e power x e power cancels so we can write e power a per m whole per n 2x plus 1 divided by e power 2x minus 1 interesting e power 2x plus 1 e power 2x minus 1 i can write it as e power x plus e power minus x by e power x minus e power minus x this is the trick of the problem now you take t as denominator you will get the remaining part so put t is equal to denominator what is denominator e power x minus e power x so differentiate both sides so dt by dx becomes derivative e power x is e power x minus derivative e power minus x is e power minus x into minus 1 so it will become e power x plus e power minus x that is dt by dx now we need dt what is dt e power x plus e power minus x into dx so now the given problem you can write it as given problem can be written as e power x plus e power minus x into dx this whole thing can be written as dt and divided by t what is integration of dt by t log base e t plus c what is t t is denominator that is e power x minus e power minus x plus c so this problem becomes little tricky why because writing e power 2x plus 1 by e power 2x minus 1 now e power x plus e power minus x by e power x minus e power minus x writing this is equal to this is the trick of the problem in spite of e power 2x plus 1 by 2x minus 1 you can write e power positive x plus minus x by e power positive x minus e power minus x then take this as t and you will get denominator next integration of 1 plus cot x by 1 minus cos x so if i differentiate denominator i will not get numerator so convert cot to cos and sin integration of 1 plus let it be instead of cot or of you know cot theta can be written as cos x by sin x in denominator also 1 minus in spite of cot i'll write cos x by sin x you know cot theta can be written as cos theta by sin theta now take lcm for numerator if i take lcm for numerator sin x is the lcm cross multiply sin x into 1 is sin x plus cos x divided by again sin x into 1 is sin x 
minus cos x divided by sin x dx. So now sin x sin x cancels. Now the given problem is simple. The given problem is integration of sin x plus cos x divided by sin x minus cos x dx. This is the given problem. They gave in terms of cart. Our cart group del koti dro. I converted cart to what? Cos by sin. Now take T as denominator. Put T as denominator. What is denominator? Sin x minus cos x. Differentiate both sides. So differentiate both sides dt by dx. And derivative of sin x is cos x minus. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Minus of minus becomes plus. And this is the value. So now dt is what? Numerator. Cos x plus sin x into dx. So now the given problem I can write it as integral of dt divided by t. Integration of dt by t is what? Log t. Answer is log base et plus c. Log t means what? Log of denominator. Log of what is denominator? The t. t value is what? What is t we assumed here? That is sin x minus cos x. Log of sin x minus cos x plus c is the answer. So here converting cot to cos by sin is the hint of problem. So cot x I wrote it as cos x by sin x. Take LCM. So whole thing LCM is sin x, sin x, one is sin x plus cos x. Denominator also sin x is the LCM. Sin x, sin x cancels. Now it is in the form f dash x by f of x. Directly also you can write, you know, integration of f dash x by f of x whenever you have. So the answer is log of denominator. What is the meaning of it? If numerator is derivative of denominator, if numerator is differentiation of denominator, then answer is log of denominator. Directly you can write or you can do substitution to arrive at the result. Integration of cot x by 3 plus log of sin x dx put t as denominator. t is what? 3 plus log of sin x. Differentiate both sides. So derivative of d by dt by dx is 3 is constant. Derivative of 3 is what? 0 plus log of sin x is 1 by sin x into derivative of sin x is cos x. Chain rule. So now we are left out with cos by sin. Cos by sin is cot x and dt by dx you got. So dt becomes that implies dt is cot x dx. Now the given problem becomes integral of dt divided by t. What is integration of 1 by t? Log t plus c. What is log t? t value. What is t value? Denominator 3 plus log of sin x plus c. This is the answer. Here derivative of log of sin x is cot x. That is numerator. Then we have integration of cosecant square x into cot x divided by 4 plus 5 cosecant square x. So you know derivative of cosecant square x is what? 2 cosecant x into cosecant x cot x. So that we will get numerator. So I will take t is equal to denominator. What is denominator? 4 plus 5 cosecant square x. This whole thing I will take. Now differentiate both sides. dt by dx is. All of you know derivative of 4 is 0. 5 is constant. Take it out. Derivative of cosecant square x is chain rule. 2 cosecant x into derivative of cosecant x is cosecant x into cot x. So now simplify this, it will become, so 5 twos are 10, 10 times cosecant x into cosecant x is cosecant square x cot x and you need cosecant square x cot x dx. So transfer dx, so it will become dx. So now rearrange this, so it will become dt by 10 is equal to cosecant square x into cot x dx. So now you got uh, numerator. So given problem becomes numerator is dt by 10, denominator is t. You can take 1 by 10 common. So integration of dt by t. Or of you know integration of dt by t is what? Log t. So 1 by t is log t plus c. And substitute the value of t. What is the value of t? Log of what is t value? t value is whatever they give. What is the assumption? 4 plus 5 cosecant square x. 4 plus 5 cosecant square x plus c. So here taking cosecant square x and differentiating. So let me guide you how to differentiate cosecant square x. How to differentiate cosecant square x? You can write it as cosecant x the whole square. That is 2 times cosecant x whole power 2 minus 1 into d by dx of internal function. Chain rule cosecant x that will become 2 times 
cosecant x into derivative of cosecant x all of you know cosecant x into cot x then further this will become 2 times cosecant square x into cot x. So here this you have learnt in chain rule of differentiation that we will use. So after putting it as t differentiating plays important rule to differentiate you should be good in what chain rule. Next, integration of 3 sin x by 3 plus 4 cos x. All of you know derivative cos gives you minus 3. From that you can get the numerator. Put t is equal to 3 plus 4 cos x, the whole denominator. And differentiate both sides. If I differentiate both sides, all of you know derivative of 3 is 0, 4 constant take it out. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Now you get sin x dx. So dt is equal to minus 4 sin x plus into minus minus dx. And you need sin x dx. So sin x dx exactly becomes dt by minus 4. So now the given problem can be written as integration of 3 times sin x they gave dx divided by 3 plus 4 cos x. So in the numerator let 3 be as it is. In spite of sin x dx you can write dt by minus 4. I can put dt divided by minus 4 divided by t. So you can take minus 3 by 4 constant integration of dt by t. So that is minus 3 by 4 integration of dt is log t plus c that is minus 3 by 4 log of what is t? t means 3 plus 4 cos x 3 plus 4 cos x plus c. So final answer is what? Minus 3 by 4 log of 3 plus 4 cos x plus c. In my next session, I will go ahead with other problems. Now we have completed with the exercise problems. So now in coming session, we will go with some more numericals of the next exercise. Thanks for attending. Thank you.